Okay, today I'm gonna to share with you a creamy, raw, vegan ranch dressing. And what inspired me to share this with you was I was over at a friend's house and he was complaining on and on about this chemical company that we all know and don't love. And yet I opened up his fridge and I looked at this salad dressing, ranch salad dressing in a bottle and it had canola oil in there. It was not organic and you can bet that that was genetically modified. So he is actually supporting the very thing he was complaining about. So it does no good to complain. I mean, it's good to be aware, but yet how can we just research and find healthy alternatives? That's why I'm so happy you found this, this video so that you can tap into this amazing recipe shared with us by the Living Light Culinary Arts Institute where I attended in Fort Bragg. So all it is, it looks like a lot, but that's what gives it the flavor, is all the combination of all these different spices. I've got raw soaked cashews, medjool dates, fresh lemon, juice, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, a red onion, and I've got parsley. It's much better, of course, to have raw, fresh parsley, but in my tower garden, with all the herbs that I have going here, I don't have any parsley, so that's what I'm going to use today. Look at all this lettuce, it's amazing. I love my tower garden. Anyway, um, then you have dill weed, put some Himalayan salt in there, some Celtic sea salt, along with some flax oil. And you're just gonna put it in the blender, zzz, and you are good to go. One tip I wanna share with you is that if this looks like a lot, and you're like, oh my gosh, that takes a lot of time, the thing that's really saved me is that when I measure it out today for the salad dressing, I'm gonna measure out two or three extra ones of all the powdered spices. That way I just label it raw, you know, ranch dressing. And then when I wanna make it, it makes it so much easier. I don't have to measure out each one of these. I just make the cashews, medjool dates, lemon juice, red onion, and flax. Put everything in the blender, zzz, and it really doesn't take long at all once you do it one time. So if you have any really amazing recipes or you know, you wanna add some tips or maybe you know, you want to vary this recipe a little bit, please post it in the comments below. We'd love to hear your ideas. I mean, it's what it's all about right now, right? It's just ordinary people like you and I sharing ideas with each other so that we know what is in our food. And um, also, if you want more tips like this, go to elementalcuisine.com, sign up for my e email list so that we can stay in touch. I've got some free training on there that I think you will get some real benefit from. So until next time, my plants are being watered right now. Can you hear it? Just be well, stay healthy, and just love yourself. Take the time to prepare really healthy foods. Take care.